So I just got the V81 update of uh, the MetaQuest Horizon OS. So here I am. Now my avatar is actually moving his lips whenever I talk. And let's see how the hand tracking is working. So let's get rid of the controllers, put them here. And now I can use my hands. So my avatar is actually moving his mouth. Uh, the eye contact is still not fancy enough, but eventually it's working. So yeah. The thing is that without controllers I cannot move, then pick up my controllers, the, the walking and the, the walking animation is fine, but the running animation is kind of funny. Anyways, let's, let's do a tour, a quick tour in my new home environment. So there's a nice shelf here, there's a chair, uh, and this is new. You can add widgets to the wall, so either in VR home environment and either in your real home environment so if I go back to my reality uh, I can I suppose to be able to actually add some widgets for example let's open this horizon feed no I can't add but they finally added something that I've asked and I criticized in my UX for XR videos for long ago that you can actually grab this handle and then use the joystick in order to make things far away or nearby so they finally did this because independent developers used to do so for ages and i don't know why meta ux team took themselves took themselves so much time to do it so i can do it but i don't know how do i um pin uh, windows to the walls because Maybe I need to do a space setup and use the LiDAR to scan my room, but uh, I'm, I'm going to do it later. Uh, let's go back to the VR environment because I've downloaded a new one. So once again, you can actually uh, add widgets to your uh, walls and stuff like this. And this is very nice, actually. I don't know how, how I, I make it larger and maybe I can change the settings. No. Nope. So, so right now the only widgets I can use this this Horizon Central uh, portal, the mirror over there, and this Instagram uh, widget. So let's change environment. As you can see, we are kind of getting Ready Player One vibes here because you can see a glimpse into the metaverse, different um, um, platforms over there for people, you know, engaging with social experiences inside the VR or the metaverse and they are hanging out together and there is a shop there is the meta Con connect event you can watch and usually each year i go inside this theater and uh, watch uh, meta connect live with other people sometimes a few of my friends in vr we are watching zuckerberg giving the show live and there is some advertisements upstairs up there and i can go and use the portal into in order to go to the metaverse so-called but I'm gonna change it to this view because it's relaxing. You also have this one, which is midnight. And I, while it's downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to AR mode, basically. And I'm gonna launch Quest Game Optimizer because it's gonna improve everything in VR and AR. Okay, now I see the difference. Oh my God. This looks stunning in HD+. Everything is so sharp and beautiful. It's working a bit slow. I can tell when I'm smooth turning. And let's check out my avatar now. Wow, this looks really good. Oh, even the hair is moving. <laughs> nice. He doesn't look like me at all, but eventually it's nice that uh, now I can see him in a full resolution and it looks, it looks really nice. Okay, finally they've added some uh, new home environments. Let's see the new one that I've downloaded. Wow. Whoa. This is so beautiful. It looks like Avatar the movie, but uh, I guess it's on Earth. And some fireflies are all over the place. But my favorite one is obviously this one. Amazing. Anyways. Let's see what else new because I should be able to actually use the new navigator UI. 
it should be under settings but once again when meta says something uh, for me it's gonna be different for you it's gonna be different because they are keep doing this facebook like ui and feature stuff that some users get it some users don't get it some users will never get it so that's kind of bad things about meta and their ux team they are not realizing that they are now building an operating system for the future for the future of computing which is xr vr and ar and they are keep pushing features without dog fooding their own um, developers they are basically dog fooding to the entire user so we are beta testing the software for them and we are we've been doing so for years and they still do it although now apple has an xr headset apple vision pro and Google is about to launch with Samsung their um, project Mohan and uh, Google is more static when it comes to product testing so they keep dog footing their own developers and will will never fi will never ship an unfinished pro product uh, they always have consistent user interfaces for everyone and con consistency in the features they release so you there is no limitations of uh, Google AI or Gemini AI only in the US but at Meta as you can see there should be uh, somewhere at the under privacy uh, there should be Meta AI feature and I should be able to say hey Meta and ask her to do stuff or for example look at my real world and say hey Meta what's this I'm looking what's this shirt I'm looking at and this should be, give me some information and insights but Meta is keeping Meta AI within US the US market and I couldn't even enable it while using vpn faking my geolocation uh, it's so i'm i'm really happy that meta is leading the competition and convincing all of the big the companies that xr and special computing is the future but they lack so so many things in terms of ux human-centered design and uh, consistency in features because eventually when you make a tutorial or when, when i see tutorials by others uh, reviewing the Meta's new operating system and uh, features, for example, Meta AI and uh, enabling Navigator UI, the new UX that they've added. I can't find them in these settings because everybody, it's, it feels like all users depend on their locations and the personal uh, features. Uh, they get different UIs and different functions within the UI and this is so frustrating because 50% of the stuff I see YouTubers doing videos, uh, you know, XR YouTubers doing on V81, I don't see them here. Let's do a quick review of things that uh, I've read in the show, in the release notes, and I can see them here. So, for example, new updates to Immersive Omi, I saw them, New Horizon Central, uh, that's the guy over there. I don't care about it. A new arena, which is, I guess, this one, right? New immersive and realistic environment, home space, blah, 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 okay. New pass-through updates. I got basically none of them. So we are introducing new features in pass-through. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, key feature is app pinning, which I don't get. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pass-through uh, pin application, blah, 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 blah. Additionally, for the first time, you can place objects in pass-through, which are accessible from the menu button. Let's see. Let's see about it. So I'm going to go to my real world. And I've got this menu. And I should be able to add this mirror or even the portal to the metaverse. Okay, at least I can do this. So I can do it. No, I'm going to do it here. Right, like so. So I've got the portal and I need to add a mirror. So I'm going to add a mirror to my real mirror is over there. Okay, so the mirror is kind of pointless because <laughs> you only see your avatar in a void. So that's about widgets in your home space. Let's see what else. Navigator updates, I have none of this. They say that you can enable and disable it in the advanced settings. I have seen none of this. And improved meta AI logic, which is not relevant if you live outside the US. So settings, advanced, once again, I don't see them. Even in Meta's official release notes, everything that they say about their settings and their uh, sub-menus within settings, nothing applies to the real world because as you can see each of us meta quest users we will not get the same menu hierarchy okay so when they say that i can find meta ai features and navigator features for the new ui within settings i see none of it i don't know how they ship products like that but that's meta 
I hope that they will learn something from Apple and Google eventually when uh, Google and Apple headsets and glasses will go mainstream but till then we have Meta and I'm pretty thankful for what they are doing in, for the XR industry and uh, promoting it and uh, contributing to the competition and waking these tech giants about the fact that XR is the future and special computing and spatial intelligence also are the future but they need to improve their UX methodology ASAP. Alright, see you later.